Championship here in Maplewood, Minnesota, and I am here with Larson. He uh, got 3-2-1 with Paleozoic Frogs and barely missed out on top eight. Yeah, that was unfortunate, but I had fun. There's some things I wish I could take back, but overall it was a decent day. Alright, let's get in the deck. Okay, so we'll start off with the standard um, three soft frogs. Sorry for the mixed rarity. Uh, best card in the deck by far. You always want to see it. It's never, never, not enough. Then. Three dupe. Um, dupe is just the target for Toad um, during standby phase, and it's uh, Ronin Totem Fodder. Again, really good. And then two Ronins. Again, sorry for mixed rarity. Uh, that's perfect number. I don't change it like ever. Uh, generally, that's where a lot of people stop. I actually did not even main hand traps for this event, but I ended up doing um, the Blue Boy engine instead of either the Three Desires or the Three Demise. Um, I actually really prefer this engine over it because it allows you to keep special summoning that turn, and the Desires is just very risky. I still play Desires, but this engine's very good. It's also a level two water type, so if you have Gozen on the field, you're still able to make your plays and stuff, and what, whatnot. It's just really handy. It's a draw two. It's really nice. Uh, and then to finish it off, I instead of playing hand traps, I decided to um, opt for Gamma Seal. This card was clutch as hell. In theory, this card is good. Today, it was great. Just Gamma Seal, anything you can't get over. Um, it's actually, if you open this and a uh, Swap Frog in hand, it's a totally awesome turn one. It's just good. It's a water monster. I'm just using it until we get the water hand trap. Uh, I actually run quite a bit of spells. We'll just start off with the generic ones. Uh, two Desires and one Dark Hole. I don't think I would change this. The Dark Hole is clutch because you can just normal summon Dupe, Dark Hole, then get the Dupe effect, search swap, or it can just actually use its real effect and destroy all monsters on the field for helping you. And Desires is Desires. I would not change that. That's good. For this, I actually ended up siding out um, this engine a couple of times just to get more nope in. But this engine was really good today. Um, almost never break with it. I think I opened this in my hand once besides um, what I wanted it to be in there. Besides that, it's good. You open Blue Boy or this, it's instantly draw two unless they have interruptions. It's, it's good. Again, I prefer it over Demise, but that's just me. And then for the best part of the deck, the traps, we're going to do three of each good one. Um, Book of Moon, Karma Cut, MST. Self-explanatory, they all come back as level 2 Aqua types, which is probably the best thing about this deck. Uh, next, for Floodgates, I did six, three Gozen, and three Rivalry. These are some expensive-ass commons for a reason, because they've literally won me games today against Crusadias. This, they couldn't get around this, they couldn't work with it. Uh, when I was facing off against Trudeco, um, this actually didn't do anything. This was, Gozen was probably more clutch than Rivalry today, but Rivalry did save me a couple times, I just can't remember the specific instances. They're good. You can do anti-spell, I just prefer not to, because when you use Toad and steal your opponent's spells, sometimes it's stuff you actually want to use. Uh, of course, just a small solemn grade. This can be warning if you want. I just prefer judgment. Uh, you can run more too, but that's all. Um, to finish off the main deck, two stormings and then a torrential. I have a second torrential on the side. It's just there because like a lot of decks really field swarm. A torrential can just ruin that for them. It's handy. The stormings were clutch as fuck today. I will we'll never take out the stormings. Two is a good number. Don't run three. And then on to the extra deck. So the extra deck is pretty damn standard. We've got one, two, three totally awesomes. Best card in the deck. Fucking amazing. This is the reason why I played this deck today. I'm not going to ever stop playing this deck. This guy's great. Uh, then I did one Opabinia and one Anamalakaris. Didn't go into it today, even though in theory it's very good. And then this one is, um, it's really good. I went into it a couple times today just to search out the traps and get rid of stuff on the fields. For the rest of just the generic ranks twos, we have Phantom Knights. He's an effect negation and drops the monster to zero. Crumble Logos, an effect negation of and not just a monster, but any face up card on the field. And while the, this guy's on the field, they can't play cards with that name. It's great. Uh, Centura. Centura is just good to get rid of cards that can't be targeted or destroyed. He just bounces them back to the hand, no problem. Uh, 
Digusto Phoenix to just put in that extra push power for game. And Cat Shark, who I never made today, but in theory, again, as good as hell, double the attack of uh, Toad and just, you know, wail away. Um, then for the Lynx, it's very, very basic. Uh, two Mist Arboy, sorry for mixed ratio, ra uh, rarities, my bad. One Proxy, I did go into him. Uh, one decode, I went into him. I went into all these guys. And of course, Borload. Borload is just clutch in this deck. It's so easy to make. Um, besides that, that's a very self explanatory extra deck. It's just the side deck now where I have to really explain stuff. So, this is kind of weird, but I did two red reboot for Mirror Match, uh, True Draco, uh, Ultra Geist, and actually, I even ended up signing this in for Trick Stars, and it helped because I would red reboot the uh, reincarnation so I could actually make a play. It was really helpful. I probably will keep it in there, but it was very good. And then, of course, 220 Twister. I was really worried about these back row decks today. I actually only ended up uh, running into about two of the three of them, but these helped a lot during those matches. Um, then, this little spicy tech of mine. Three Sanctum, two Scythe. No extra deck summoning with Scythe on the board. Sanctum. A lot of people will pop this, thinking it's a Paleo. I'll just chain, get a destruction on the field because of its effect, and then also spec Scythe, where they can't special summon monsters from the extra deck. It was clutch. I did it like once, but like when it happened, it was pretty fucking awesome. Um, the hand traps are actually inside. If I know my opponent's gonna want to go turn one, I will side in all of these bad boys. I only do five just because so, so, it sounds terrible to, for me to say this, but hand traps kind of fucking suck in this deck. And I, I prefer five. You can run six if you want. The last card in the side deck is a TT. Like I explained, it's, a TT is just good. But that is it for the whole deck profile. Um, any thoughts on it? It works pretty damn good. Like, if I had to change one thing, it would be that I didn't get my nerves up and, you know, get, get anxious during matches, and I maybe would have even made top eight because of that, but I'm not complaining. Uh, it wasn't a bad day at all, and I, 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 for anybody who's new to the game, I definitely recommend this deck, and yeah, that's about it. Alright, uh, so what were your matchups throughout the day? <laughs> so, first matchup was uh, Crusadia Invoke Mech Knight, and that was fast. Um, it was Evan, and he, of course, I felt bad doing it, but like, he was giving me a fight, so I wasn't gonna go easy on him. Uh, shout out to Evan. We'll see if we can get his deck profile in here. Uh, next matchup was True Draco, and again, that one wasn't that hard. Just I won it too well. Um, the next match was actually very difficult. It was me versus a pure Invoke McKnight, not no Crusadia in it. And damn, that was a fight. Uh, we actually went into time, and he won because he had a little bit more life points than me. But what it was was like, um, first game he won, second game I grinded it out with the Paleos, and I actually ended up banishing two Ronins and still winning, which I thought was pretty impressive. But uh, game three he ended up having more life points in time, so he got it. Uh, put me down in my dumps a little bit. The next game against Trick Stars, where I should have won, I had my ruling mixed up. Don't forget, Duke can chain off this, but if there's an effect being activated before it, it will miss timing because it says when. That screwed me over. We're not gonna talk about that. Next matchup. Um, that matchup was two to one, by the way. All my all my losses were two one. Uh, the game after that, Crusadia uh, Mech Knight. No, Crusadia Sky Striker. Two zero. Wasn't the Crusadia decks today weren't that impressive. They were good though. Like they were fun, but they just weren't that impressive. And final match, it was Trickstar, and it actually ended up being a tie, which was really unfortunate because this is what kind of determined whether I would have been top cut or not. And I am a di bit disappointed, but you know, it was a good fight. Uh, in the end of it, he really just gave it his all, I gave him my all, and that's about it. Alright. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions about Larson's deck, you go down in the comment section below. And uh, congrats to Larson for doing as well as he could today, he almost making it. Uh, yeah, leave a like, comment, definitely subscribe. See you, see you guys next video. Have a nice day.